In our previous video, we calculated support reactions RA and RC of the simply supported beam with a point load of 15 kN applied onto the beam. In this video, we are going to form an imaginary cut somewhere along this beam and then draw a free body diagram. Then this free body diagram will enable us to calculate the bending moments and shear forces in this beam at particular points. After that, we can use those values to draw bending moment diagram and shear force diagram. The point I'm going to put an imaginary cut is point D, which is two meters from the support A. This is our imaginary cut and with this imaginary cut what we have done is we have separated our beam into two sections. Section AD on the left side of the cut and section DC on the right side of the cut. Now we can isolate either of these two sections and draw a diagram as if it was separated from the rest of our beam arrangement. This process is called drawing a free body diagram. From these two sections, I'm going to pick section AD and draw the free body diagram. This is the easy section out of these two sections because this section doesn't have any externally applied forces. In fact, section DC has the externally applied force of 15 kilonewton. Now we can start drawing the free body diagram. The key is to include the real forces and moments present in our beam or in our structural system at any point we take a cut. Therefore, I'm going to note the axial force at this cut as TD. and the bending moment as MD shear force as FD when you draw these forces and moments it is important to follow the correct sign convention if you would like to know more about a typical sign convention then please click on this YouTube card or follow the link in the description box below to the video where I explain about this typical sign convention. Now that we have acknowledged and drawn the actual forces present in this beam at this particular cut, what is left is this reaction RA. So let's draw RA here. This is how you draw the free body diagram for the left hand section of this beam. Now we can use this free body diagram to calculate a bending moment, shear force and axial force in the beam at this particular point where we have taken the cut. I have covered all that in a separate video where I explain how you can calculate bending moment, shear force and axial force. Please go check out that video. You could either click on this YouTube card here or follow the link in the description box below to check out that video. I hope this video helped you to understand a bit more about how you can draw free body diagrams and you are ready to take the next step where we calculate a bending moment, shear force and axial force using this free body diagram. And the step after that is drawing bending moment diagram and shear force diagram for our beam arrangement. If you have any questions about this video, please post your questions in the comment section below and I will see you all in my next video.